If you already own a Mac, there's not a better deal out there for keys players than MainStage. It's 30 bucks in the App Store and it comes with thousands and thousands of awesome presets and samples. But some of those presets and samples aren't in a super intuitive place where you'd maybe necessarily know where to look for them. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly where they are and how you can use them as you prepare your keys presets. Let's take a look. So most folks are familiar with navigating presets in MainStage in one of two ways. Either via the patch library, where you can view all of the ready to play patches, or by adding a new channel strip and using the channel strip library. But in this video, we're gonna show you a third way. I wanna teach you how to directly access EXS24 instruments within that plugin. So we're gonna click on the instrument area of this channel strip and choose EXS24 in stereo. Now, if you're just starting to test the waters of sound design, it's a really great idea to get comfortable with this plugin inside MainStage. It's not much to look at, hasn't been updated in a while, but the sounds that are included in EXS24 are diverse, and there's some really, really great presets in here. And you can't really get to them in any other way in MainStage other than loading bunches of patches and opening plugins one at a time. So the best way to do it is just open EXS24 directly. And then when you're in the plugin, click on the green area here and scroll down to where it says factory. Now, when you get to this area, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have MainStage's factory sound library downloaded and installed on your computer. You can do that within the toolbar in MainStage. There's tons of sounds. It's definitely worth downloading them all and checking them out. Then when you go to factory, you'll see them all organized in these neat little dropdowns. So we can start off by looking at synthesizer sounds and there's tons and tons of synth pads, synth leads, string sounds, sequence elements, tons and tons of stuff here. We've got different acoustic pianos, orchestra elements. There's some really, really cool presets inside the world categories. Honestly, you can spend hours and hours just scrolling through these presets and then adding some audio effects or making tweaks within the plugin to make them your own. So this is really a great place to start learning about sound design. So let me show you, we'll just grab something from the synth pad category. One thing to look out for when you're inside EXS24 like this is a lot of the plugins start off pretty loud, maybe even too loud. So it's a good idea to bring the volume down as you start to experiment, just so you don't blast out your speakers or hurt your ears. So this is the first pad sound here within the factory presets in EXS24. So something super unique, really interesting right off the bat and you can make tons of changes to this. You could adjust the mod matrix, or the filter cutoff. You could add audio effects, you could change up the EQ. And some of these sounds may be to your liking, some of them may not. But the idea is that oftentimes they can really inspire you as you scroll through these different presets. So to switch to the next one, you just hit the plus button and then you are at literally what's titled another pad. Like I said, they start off pretty darn loud sometimes, so bring that volume down. So in a worship music context, I could definitely see using this specific sound as the basis for a patch. So once you find something that's pretty cool, you can go inside the mod matrix here and adjust the different mappings that are made. You can bypass ones that you don't want to use. Looks like here they have filter cutoff controlled via the mod wheel and uh, with an LFO as the source. So I can move the mod wheel up and it gets brighter. I can increase or decrease the amount of brightness that's added in. So this is a really cool pad sound. And then I could add some EQ, I could add some compression, some reverb to diffuse everything, wash it out a little bit, and really only would have known to find this preset within EXS24. Now, I'm sure that this instrument was used in some of MainStage's patches or channel strip presets, but it's not labeled as such. And I really like this stripped down way of navigating through MainStage's content because it gives you just the basic impression of what the sound can do. And then you can add stuff, make it your own, really easily. So we can try another one. I use this basic pad in almost all of our tutorials here at Sunday Sounds because it is that. It's a nice basic pad sound. It's a great uh, template to build things on top of. And 
then you can mess around with the amp envelope if you wanted it to have some attack. You can bring down the release time and the sustain value. So this is just a great playground to start to test the waters of what MainStage can do. And there's also a ton of presets in here that really don't need to be tweaked. They're just kind of ready to play. So really cool synth lead sounds. Let's see if I can remember one by name here. So that's a really cool sound. I think I could add some stereo delay to it like this. Bring up the mix amount here. Tap into tempo. So just simple changes you make to these channel strips because the starting point of each of these instruments is already sort of had some sound design applied to it when these samples were initially captured. Um, it's, it's a great way to just sort of tweak and have fun without having to spend a bunch of time tweaking the attack time or dialing in the EQ really, really specifically. Uh, it's more of so just great for making incremental changes what does this knob do? How does this EQ affect the sound? So it's, it's a really great way to test the waters of sound design. After you've had some time to explore for yourself, leave a comment and let us know your favorite EXS24 pad sound that you find. I'll also include a link in the description of the video to our done for you Sunday Keys template, which is designed to make main stage fun and easy to use and comes with tons of awesome ready to play worship keys presets. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.